your baby will spend more time sleeping on his or her mattress than probably anywhere else, especially in the first few years. Newborns often sleep the whole day away, and infant and children spend up to 10 to 14 hours a day breathing just inches from the surface of their mattress. In fact, mattresses are considered the primary source of toxic exposure to children during the first years of life. And over the last 30 years or so, the materials used in baby mattresses has changed from natural products to petroleum and synthetic products. So when you think about what your baby is exposed to while sleeping, it is a very concerning subject. Most parents probably assume that government regulations and agencies monitor the materials and chemicals used in baby mattresses and that our children are protected. What we do not realize is that there is no regulation of materials in baby mattresses other than the basic labeling requirements. In fact, 21 states have no guarantee what will be in your mattress, and the remaining states have almost no enforcement of the minimal regulations in place. Toxic fire retardants, phthalates, PVC, PAN, polyurethane foam, and other chemicals are common in baby mattresses. Let's talk about each of these in detail. A common ingredient in baby mattresses is PVC, or polyvinyl chloride. PVC is created using a combination of chlorine and petroleum. Then phthalates are added to make it soft and flexible. PVC makes up about 30% of the materials in baby mattresses. PVC creates a dust that is released into the air. It is associated with asthma, allergies, lung damage, and liver problems. The problems associated with exposure to the phthalates include fetal death, malformations, and reproductive toxicity in laboratory animals. PVC is extremely flammable and therefore it is heavily treated with flame retardants in order to meet government requirements. PBDEs that we discussed earlier are the most common chemicals used as flame retardants for PVC. It has been associated with thyroid and liver toxicity and neurobehavioral changes in children. The chemicals in flame retardants have shown up in the blood of newborns, breast milk, and the majority of adults in the United States. PBDEs accumulate in the body and environment and are difficult, if not impossible, to eliminate. Currently, they are banned in Europe and California. However, they are only being replaced with other PBDEs that are not shown to be any less toxic. The phthalates of the mattresses also leach out and into the air surrounding the child. Children are thought to be at higher risk to the adverse effects of phthalates because of higher exposures during a time of growth and development. Phthalates are most dangerous to baby boys because they affect their reproductive systems. They are linked to an increased risk of testicular cancers and a low sperm count. Polyurethane foam is a petroleum product that has been linked to many problems and disorders. It gets into the body by breaking down over time into small dust particles which we then inhale. These dusts are also called VOCs or volatile organic compounds. Some of the health hazards listed on the polyurethane foam manufacturer materials are possible cardiac arrhythmias, headache, coughing, asthma-like reaction, dizziness, fatigue, nausea, blurred vision, and reduced lung function. Exposure to the dust from polyurethane foams has also been linked to cancer and can disrupt hormones, reproductive and immune systems. Some studies suggest that early exposure can have long-term effects on the brain. Other chemicals of concern are PAN, or PAN, which is polyvinyl cyanide, and antimony oxide. Both can be harmful even at low levels of exposure. Antimony has been linked to eye irritation, hair loss, lung damage, and heart problems, as well as fertility problems, chronic bronchitis, chronic emphysema, and inactive tuberculosis. Other materials that may be used include vinyl chloride, which is a known human carcinogen, which means it causes cancer. And if all these chemicals aren't enough to gross you out, mattresses are also frequently made with the scraps swept off the floor of the textile mills. Some use pig hair. Gross. How is this allowed? So what is a mom-to-be or a new mom to do? It is undeniable that many of the chemicals currently found in baby mattresses are toxic. In fact, there have been some concerns that it may be linked to SIDS, 
which may make sense when you think about your baby breathing in toxic fumes for the majority of their life, and it's terrifying. However, this has not been proven at this point. So how is this allowed by our government? How are we not aware of these dangers? There are a couple of reasons. First, the mattress companies are not heavily regulated. As we mentioned earlier, 21 states don't even have regulation beyond the typical labels. Second, it goes back to the low dose theory that is used so often with toxic exposures. The idea is that the amount of toxic chemicals is so low that it won't hurt your baby. Now that you know your baby is inhaling these toxic fumes for 10 to 14 hours a day or longer, every day, that is not a low dose. Some researchers are concerned that any level of exposure, especially to children, can have serious effects. So when you put your baby to sleep, you want to know that they are safe and protected. You do not want to worry about your child being physically damaged in small amounts for years and years. While fire protection is important, it does not need to damage our children on a daily basis. There are many fabrics and materials that are naturally fire resistant, such as wool. You can also choose organic cotton mattresses with safer plastic covers. These can be expensive, but if you are going to choose one item to spend more money on for your child, the mattress would be the item to splurge on. If it is simply not in the budget, I have included the link to mattress covers that have been proven to encapsulate the escaping gases. Everyone should be able to protect their child from these serious dangers, no matter what your budget. Also, make sure you use 100% cotton or wool sheets. It is dangerous to use those cute padded bumpers too. Not only are they considered a smothering hazard, but they are also filled with polyurethane or polyester. Avoid polyester whenever you can, including blends in all your fabrics, as this is a petroleum-based product. Many of the quick remove sheets you can purchase that are labeled as organic contain vinyl. While this is a vinyl that does not contain chlorine, it is still in the category of less safe plastics.